Constructed roads are very important in modern communities because they facilitate transportation, commerce and connectivity. This is Solution Footprint from Anambra State, the light of the nation, and will bring you another dimension of the ongoing revolution by the Professor Chupo Machal Saludo-led administration in Anambra State. I am Ifi Aron Wokafo. In the history of Anambra State, Governor Chupo Machal Saludo became the first governor to activate a revolution in road infrastructure. And in less than two years in office, Professor Chupo Machal Saludo awarded 450 kilometers of roads. This in itself is historic because the combined efforts of the past two administrations for 16 years was less than 300 kilometers of roads. On this edition of Solution Footprints, we'll see how Professor Chupo Machal Saludo began his revolution in road infrastructure in Anambra State. Watch this. During the campaign which ushered in the Governor Chuku Machal's Saludo-led administration, one resounding request the Governor himself admitted across communities and local government areas he visited was the provision of roads. To Governor Saludo, it was clear that what the people needed most was roads. And it was indeed the loudest request. On assumption of office, Governor Saludo immediately declared a state of emergency on road construction. Consequently, road construction became a major thrust of his administration. For us in Anambra State, by the time we came into the office, 17th March 2022, there were total collapse of road infrastructure in Anambra State. And it became a challenging factor that we needed to attack on. One of the things we have is what we call an economic enabler. And road infrastructure is one of the economic enablers. And so we went on. The governor actually declared emergency on road construction. Anambra State, unlike other states that are one city states, Anambra State has four major towns. And then all the communities, all the people ask for you from Anambra State is road, road and road. Available data shows that while the government before the immediate past administration tied just a little above 200 kilometers of roads, the immediate past administration tied 80.5 kilometers of roads. But unfortunately, most of these roads have collapsed due to bad quality. Consequently, Governor Saludo was specific with his promise to the people to deploy alternative models and technology of building durable roads that will last a minimum of two decades. The governor was therefore intentional in connecting more communities with new roads, flyovers and spores and bridges. However, restrained by scarce resources, Governor Saludo has systematically focused and prioritized the construction of strategic roads. By this, the government has constructed roads that link and open up communities, supported economic growth and improved the lives of Ndianambra. Today, in less than two years in office, Governor Saludo has awarded a total of 71 roads, totaling 450 kilometers. This is about an average of 10 kilometers per month. Out of this, 19 roads representing 285 kilometers have been completed and are due for commissioning. While orders are still ongoing across the three senatorial districts of the state, and more are on the verge of being awarded. For a man who believes in excellence and quality, the Saludo government came up with a zero tolerance for waste and poor quality in infrastructure delivery. For the first time in the history of Anambra State, Governor Saludo did not just build roads, 
He went further to ensure that contracts for road construction were awarded to competent contractors. For all inspection, Gambia, I just came to be sure that it's being done. Okay? Yes, you know we sacked the um, we sacked the former contractor. We sacked the former contractor, and we have now brought two new two new contractors to finish the job. And that's why you are seeing progress, eh? Are you happy with the new contractor? You are happy with the new contractor? That's why I have come. I have come to say that the work is going and that you are happy. Eh? Are you happy? Every contractor followed strictly the government mantra of quality or nothing. Hence, every road constructed must have stone base, cement stabilization before quality asphalting. This was indeed a technique never deployed in the history of road construction in the state. The contractors were equally made to sign an undertaking to guarantee that the roads they would deliver to the state government must have a minimum lifespan of 20 years. Um, we did the sub-base 5% cement stabilization. Then we have the base cost, 4% cement stabilization. Then we have the wearing cost, which is 50 mm. Exactly. The material testing lab confirmed it with the core test. Um, the road is to last 20 years. So anything less than 20 years is not acceptable. We start from the last year March. As, as you can see, this project is 2.1 kilometers road, and we got 2.8 kilometers landry and the walkway. Right, right now, you can see all, the, all this project is, um, uh, is eight, eight, months, eight months for the construction period. Okay, thank you. I'm thinking uh, for the take, we already finished this one, and uh, we are ready for the uh, the next project, we are uh, welcome to the new energy and uh, we want to contribute ourselves uh, for an umbrella. To aid the contractors in delivering according to schedule, all contractors were effectively mobilized with between 30 to 50 percent of the contract sum. This again shows the leadership quality in Governor Saludo as a person who believes in supporting others to succeed so that they can deliver as and when due. Today, we've actually moved from where we don't have roads that connect within the town, connect different towns together. Over 400 kilometers of road already awarded. 250 will be ready on or before 17th of March. By April, we are targeting 286 kilometers of road to have been completed. Before the end of the year, we are thinking that we get about 300 and 350 kilometers of road completed. This is unprecedented in Nigeria. Fondi Anambra, Governor Saludo has not only listened to their cry in improving road infrastructure, but has exceeded expectations considering the massive road construction that have been built and completed while others are still ongoing and more will be awarded. You're still watching Solution Footprints and we've seen how Professor Chipu Machao Saludo proactively activated the ongoing revolution in road infrastructure in Anambra State. Now, let's see the progress made so far. Watch this. To the amazement of the people of the state, out of the 71 roads, Governor Saludo has completed 19 roads. These strategic roads include the Phase 1 rehabilitation and construction of Amansi Ebenebe Uwenu Obaofem Mili Umwerum Omo Road, with a stretch of 25.5 kilometers have been completed. <laughs> Number 
Because you don't know I know Come on, we Oh, no, 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 what you want? Oh, she didn't know. 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 Oh, she Selu do ya chos, ho ya chiri de Jesus abia. Nwuro nya ozai maka na o emele uzi oga baga. Maka na ndi chilis ya e me campaign. Onye bo world house si ni alu luzi, na nwuru uzi olu. Mana selu do bi alu house. So onye obu na gaba imuchi anyi na age na ala lolo na age. So selu do ya chili de. Luku e wa agu. Nwuro ezi oku de si ku enyi. Onye si na selu do amara achi, ma na onya na pato nu bu wesi enni ko nene ko na. This is a strategic road that will aid the people of that area who are mainly agrarian to easily evacuate their farm produce to Oka and other urban areas. By this, Governor Saludo has opened up these communities and improved the economic life of the people living in the areas. It's a thing of joy because we have suffered a lot. I suffered a lot in this world for years. More than 30 years ago, we are suffering from this road. But God has brought the person that will help us to enjoy this road very, very well. In the name of uh, Soludo, Men's Solution. In short, we are very grateful to God for bringing this man to us to know how we are suffering. We are suffered. We suffered a lot too much in this road. When we were in the secondary school, we used to carry our leg, move, enter boat. Even up to two years ago, self, rain covered this road. We are using small boat to cross this road to be inside Oben. So we are very grateful to because I have done our wish. Because God brought him to help us and do the work. So we thank him very much. The burn of this community is bad road. Since 20 years ago, we are passing through hell here. Yeah. The first time Soludo came here, and his promise was if we give him mandate, this will be the first road he walked. And he did it. When he has my office as a governor, the first road I awarded in this community, in this state, is this road. And this road is not only just awarded, it was constructed with high quality, with high quality material. It's one of the best roads in the whole Nigeria, not even in Anambra State. We are very grateful to him. We must carry our thanks to him. We are praising him for the, the one he has done. And we shall praise him more if he can link us to Ayam Mel. This is number one project he started and he completed it within time. It is a machine that before them you see the baby and anger. On a machine like a chinaka goes there of Mofma. Yeah, eh? Goes there of Mofma Trika. What it all about? Well, well, well. What it all about? Seeing self no way I end up on your point. I am mad that the man, not Trika. What it is, I am So I can take you, my guy, even do Lubo. On your line, I can do. Huh? How's up, Kalanindo? The Amansi Ndiukwenu Mamu Forest Awa Ufumero totaling 26.4 kilometers was first awarded in 2013. However, almost nine years after, the all-important road, which connects several food-producing communities in the area, was abandoned, only to be revalidated and rewarded by Governor Saludo-led governments. Today, to the glory of God, Saludo has broken the jinx and the road has been fully completed. We no longer find it difficult to transport our goods and services. Keta and Odo are very easy, so I am very happy. And we really appreciate Saludo over the Karayim. Because Because I campaign. At the end of the day, I am But Soludo Biara, true true, Oje we make campaign. Now go see na campaign. Now we are all Ame. Now all fulfill the promises. Ome rendu fuma. And in the room, but I am very happy, and we really appreciate him. Before Governor Soludo assumed office. The Millijohn section of Oba Ojota Road was a death trap. 
Today, it is 100% completed and commuters now have pleasurable experience driving through the location. To give the people of Isuofia and Ibupu who felt they were since been neglected a sense of belonging, Governor Saluda also championed rehabilitation works on the 0.6 km flood section of Isuofia Ibupu Road. The 2.8 km Isuofia Nanka with Sport to Nanka come off Obi Adimora. Revalidation of the 6.05 km Uo Umunoko Nza Ozobula Road and the rehabilitation of the 1.58 km Afonobi Okete to Ichida Tonyman's Filling Station Road. These roads have been completed. Especially in the very bad. I was very bad. I was very bad. I was very bad. I so, a solution Works have also been completed at the 1.8 km Gully Erosion Control Works in Ebenato and the 1.8 km Ifitawari Road with a spur. In his bid to revamp on it back to its glorious days as a center of prosperity and a major commercial nerve center in Nigeria. Governor Saludo has intentionally and deliberately addressed basic issues required to kickstart the prosperity of Onicha. This has led to the completion of Niger Street to Sokoto Road with a 3 meters by 4.5 meters by 15 meters long water crossing and 1.1 meters storm water channel with a stretch of 3.27 kilometers. This is a major strategic road embarked upon by this government. Uza. Ada the Aga containers now that they buy almost three times in a week. Then, because now Abu the major road is able to take container now the largest market in the whole Africa. The market on what resources are there. We see where Hana Niger border, Boku Niger. The next thing us is the Uza. Uza connected many things, many a number of states. The whole eastern region Anya, in the Manaro area for a very long time. Very, very worst of the first regime, Arume. Container that Katarada, eh, choppy the Keke, land the mud. But I thank God for Soludo. As you can see, everywhere now the free. Keke Anaga, Trela Wan and Ada Bumad Anaga, Mota Anaga, Ngoku Anaga. What else can you do? Never on a triage de goji. Eight years, officer, so a Kennedy Lea on a try, yeah. I'm about to see who I qualify and talk. Cabra, I come up for only two years. We're not loaded on our own. On a four years. A man I've been in a yabo, you wake up on a pretty dinner land. So now on our look, all of the land. Oh, go to my buying self, on our look, my buying. Oh, we get connected from Okozo, from Omonia to Okozo. Now, 
also the 0.769 kilometers Premier Road on Icha, as well as 0.539 kilometers Portaco Street on Icha, have been completed. So I need to ask Chineke to go see her. You want more money? I'm not asking for that. Chineke, I go see. Chineke, bring me. I got. I check why I'm not. I got. I check what's up. You want me to fuma? I already am aka. I need to know everything. In Omoabuaka, over the years, uncontrolled flooding has dealt a terrible blow on the residents of this community. This inherent danger was made manifest with the drowning of a 14-year-old child during one of the rainy seasons. Many homes were equally rendered inhabitable by this ugly situation. As a caring and sensitive governor, Governor Saludo swung into action by immediately awarding the 3.872 kilometers Umar Walker flood control infrastructure and road. Today, it is a different story because the road has been completed and the people of the area have remained eternally grateful to a caring and empathetic governor who listens to the people. When we came on board, we discovered that a part of the capital city that is called Umuamu, across the Zixi Avenue, houses are being submerged because of the amount of water that is being moved into that place whenever it rains, that people don't even live there. Today, we've actually completed the road networks there, which is about 3.89 kilometers of road, fully constructed. But that is not even the issue. The flood control is the issue. And we've actually done the flood control. The drainage, the discharge channels, and the flood channels, about 8 kilometers has been completed. That is a major thing that people don't even consider. Because every person looks at the road, but we've actually reclaimed it. It's something that every person has to be very grateful to Saludo for a visionary leadership the kind of thing that has never happened to the creation of Anambra State. The 4.26 km Savino Omoafo Bright Street Nkwo Umugu Obahue Zike Road, Lot 1, have been completed. Also worthy of note is the fact that Governor Saludo is not only building new roads, his administration is equally maintaining existing roads. Anambra Road Maintenance Agency, AMA, is saddled with this responsibility and they have been doing a good job in making sure the driving around Anambra is now a pleasurable experience. What more can we say about Governor Saludo's administration? A government that is not only caring, sensitive and empathetic, but also intentionally and deliberately working the talk in developing the state. Since in Danosa, 1996, Everybody governor <laughs> I Fondi Anambra Saludo has become a God sent leader, and the people have also come to love him the more. Everywhere he goes, Chaling Wambafo, a name he is popularly called by the people, rents the air as his popularity grows bigger and bigger by the day. Wow, you're welcome back. 
You've seen how the revolution began and where we are now. Next time on Solution Footprints, we'll unveil more on the ongoing revolution in road infrastructure in Anambra State by Professor Chupo Machao Soludo. Follow Solution Footprints on social media at Solution Footprints on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, and on X, former Twitter, at Solution FP. I am Ifi Aron Wokafo. Support the ongoing, unprecedented, and massive revolution in road infrastructure in Anambra State by Professor Chibuma Charles Solundo. Don't miss the next edition of Solution Footprints. It's going to be historic. See you then. We believe in togetherness. We'll build a land of progress.